hello everyone welcome to the class as we have already discussed about the various services provided by the cloud such as infrastructure platform and the software these are all being used by the consumers so the the service they are been requesting according to that those services are being deployed which can be classified as a public private community or hybrid cloud so let's discuss them one by one the first one is the public cloud as the term is a public that means it is open to each and everyone it can be used by any person and it is managed it is operated either by the business or any organizations or government or any combination of them uh, and it is completely on the provider side it is nowhere related to the consumer side and as they are been providing the pro the cloud service providers are providing the service so it is only that we need to pay for the amount we are been using it and it will be the charges are being metered and we have to pay the fees for that one the advantage of uh, this public cloud is very less capital investment moving on the next one you can check in this a uh, diagram where we have the cloud service provider resources which is acting as the cloud the public cloud it is being accessed by the enterprise p accessed by enterprise q and also user is also accessing this one so as they are accessing they are providing the resources to each and everyone as they need it so they need to only pay the fees for this for example is your amazon prime services you have been using whatever the channels you are looking at or the uh, the services you have been taking from the amazon prime you are getting the subscription for that and you are paying the fees for that one that means the money you are paying and you are only being charged and you are given only that much video or the content to see the problem with this one is uh, it is uh, having no control over the resources the confidentiality is one of the problem the network performance is also a problem and interoperability issues also rise up in some cases the best examples is amazon we have cloud and salesforce.com moving on to the next one is a private cloud in the private cloud the infrastructure is being owned by or it is being used by single organization and it is completely controlled by the third party and it is not been shared to anyone please remember in the public cloud we are sharing the resources but in the private cloud it is private to the organization and they are not sharing with anyone on this one there are two variations one is the on premise private cloud and the second one is externally hosted private cloud so let's see what is this on premise private cloud the on premise private cloud is known as an internal cloud and it is hosted by the organization with its own data center now you can see this in the diagram where there is an enterprise and it is having all the resources so this is acting as the cloud and the enterprise is accessing all these resources and it is not been shared by any of the other enterprise so it is visible from this one and when you have been looking at the security the security is not been compromised and also uh, the limitation or i can say the disadvantages if in case there is they, we have to scale it up then there is a problem scaling down is not a problem but if in case the consumers are been increasing then that time we are going to face the problem now the, for this an example if in case i have to give is uh, we all know that uh, swiggy uh, is a food uh, order where we place the order they are owning their own cloud that means they are working according to their 
interest they are been owning and they are not giving it to any other services so they are working within the country so this way they are going to maintain their own resources they are hiring their people and it is shared and it is not been maintained by anyone moving on to the next one is externally hosted private cloud externally hosted private cloud is simple i have to say here it is been managed by someone right and it is given to only one particular enterprise so the enterprise is working independently the remaining all the services are been looked by the cloud so here the third party is uh, looking at the confidentiality the privacy of all the information and it is particularly dedicated for this enterprise in such a situations they are been building they take up the requirements they see how it can be maintained and they are giving them the services as they need this one for example is if i have to say for this one is the banks whenever they are working they are just an independent for them they don't know the database how it has to be maintained uh, the services that has to be provided so just they take the help of these uh, cloud services and it is been maintained by them and it is working independently so the private banks are taking the help of this one moving on to the next one is a community cloud this is uh, you exclusively used by the group of the people or the community of the consumers uh it is it can be owned managed or it can be operated by the community a group of community and the main disadvantage is it is more expensive now for example you can see that you are having the or uh, the infrastructure the whatever the cloud is able to provide uh, the resources it is been shared by p q and r so these are the group of the people they are been using it the best example if i have to mention you is the government agencies whenever they are been working uh, these are the different government offices where they are been interlinked with one another and they are sharing these resources so instead of having a different database for enterprise p enterprise q and enterprise r all together are been shared using just one database because they are been interlinked so the community they are going to work instead of three resources it is been just shared with the one database so this is just an example i have been mentioned for you people like that whenever these organ enterprises are interlinked or these community are working with the same agenda so at the time the cloud service can be used and it can be shared with one another the next one is hybrid cloud hybrid as a name is hybrid that means it's a combination of the public or the private it can be either of the one or it can be even the community also and they are going to see that the data or the application is being shared and it can be portable Uh, so this is uh, it, it is all overcoming the problems that are associated with the public cloud or it can be with the private cloud or it can be even with the community cloud as already have been mentioned community cloud is more expensive private cloud you need to own all the resources you need to pay a huge investment because you need to maintain all the services but in the uh, public there is a problem associated with the confidentiality of the data so this is all been overcome using the hybrid cloud in this diagram you can see that there is a private cloud which is owned by the enterprise p the user r is using the services that is public to the cloud and enterprise q is also sharing the resources from the public cloud so here if you observe carefully this public cloud the services whatever is there it is even accessed by the enterprise p also so enterprise p is providing the services to the user r via the public cloud so if you take the amazon services or the flipkart they have their own database but still yet it is been accessed by any of the users their main database is not been access to anyone but the things that are public it can be accessed by n number of the people 